Hi, Pat Pirelli here, and I'm here to help you keep it natural so you can have a better horse life and your horse can have a better horse life too. And today, with our horse sense and stable thinking, we're going to talk about the difference between a reaction and a response. All right, a reaction is something like that. A response is, why, well, sure, I would love to do it. I don't think I need to say anything else. You know, they say a picture's worth a thousand words, a video's worth a million words, and sometimes those simple little statements are really draw the picture in. But for those of us that maybe want a little bit more about this, I think, I think it's a really good thing to think about um, knowing the difference. Now, we could probably easily see the difference between a response and a reaction, but what about kind of a lack of response, kind of a lethargic, oh, all right, what, you know, okay, if you insist, sort of a thing. So I think the thing is to look at the quality of of what is um, being given, okay? And then also look at the quality of how we're asking for it. So I think response with respect, without fear, is what we're really after. And there should be no fear in respect, but it's, I think it's important to say that because some people misinterpret that word, all right? So response with respect, without fear. I think that is the real thing what we want to do. So let's just take, let's take a child and say, and the child says, oh, you know, says, yes, ma'am, I'd love to do that. Or, yes, sir, okay, I'd love to do that. Or, no, thank you. All right, that's a nice response. N instead of a um, kind of a slowly slothy one like, oh, all right. Mm, off we go. Then, or, you know, okay, yes, ma'am, I'm sorry, I'll do it, I'll do it. See those differences there? In, in the end, whatever you were asking is going to kind of get done. But I think it's really important there. So now, the I think the quantity or the you know kind of a qualitative score. So I like to give a ten the best, you know zero the worst, something like that. And and if you wanted to go below zero, you could have it where some horse actually does something dangerous, like kicks at you when you do something, ask it to do something, yield the hind quarters or play the hide the hindy game or send it off in the circle into the circling game. Or go sideways. So let's just start with the positives. So, all right. So I think the minimum I am, I'm after is a seven. So rhythm, relaxation, and understanding are what give me the indicator that that's what we're after. So if we get a seven, you know, it's like, yes, ma'am, I'd love to do that for you. Is there anything else you'd like? Or, you know, a nine would be, yes, ma'am, or yes, sir, I'd love to do it with enthusiasm, with exuberance. All right. So work on those kind of things kind of the what you're doing how many times have you asked a horse to do it like if it's the hundredth time you've asked him to do it you better expect a little bit more than just the first time because the first time maybe the first 10 times you're just kind of in the teaching phase and you accept a lot or expect a lot accept a little and reward often so all of these things end up being the thing that we're after that really gets this the beauty of what we're doing and it's the magic and just never remember or never forget just how the word equus means equal us and really treat our horses as equals, not as, a, you know, humans are better and horses are lower or anything like that. We really treat it to where we've got that real unity, that real partnership. And remember that if equus means equal us, we cannot be chauvinistic, we cannot be autocratic, we have to be realistic so we can't be anthropomorphic. And the real secret to all of this is the variety of things that we can do with our horse so it keeps it fun so we don't get stuck in linear thinking so there's our mule saying that's Gigi's over there agreeing with me all 100 percent so pat pearly here keep helping you keep it natural so you can have a better horse life and so can your horse and i'm also here to help preserve real horsemanship